and welcome back to my playthrough of Tang Garden. And either there isn't anyone who knows this game very well, or I really haven't done any real rules mistakes so far. Wow, pretty proud of myself, but let's see if we can change that during this playthrough. I might consider playing it to the end because I have some more time there, but let's see how things go. And I think with that being said, yeah, let's place our next pair. And I believe I have to go with this combination here. Yeah, let's do this. We have to place this guy here. Let me quickly remove the tree. I will bring it back. So again, path has to go next to path and a path cannot block off a terrain. That's also allowed with a wall. So I could not, let's say, put this greenery tile like this. That's not allowed. Yeah, that's, that's that. Um, we have extended the green here. Of course, let's bring the tree back, but this one gives us at least one more coin. So we had now 21 coins, nine more for our third character. But of course, we still have to place the character later on because right now we only have two spots. And the next time when we reach 30, one of those will be taken by the neutral character. But yeah, it's what it is. We still have to place the fish here. I think this is fine too, as we do have a spot. But here isn't this looking lovely and yeah we have to discard this combo down there so this is gone let's see what comes out next oh another bridge space are you kidding me okay and oh some more birds it's pretty much the same that i just removed more or less are you kidding me let's quickly reveal this one here and another card two peonies hmm. more nature spaces oh i'm really slowly running out of options here so i might need to use my <laughs> remaining lantern token pretty soon yeah i think the only option that i currently have i cannot place oh i could i could go for this actually i, I could because i can place the peonies right on top of those but then ah uh, I, I think i have to do that actually yeah i think i have to so let's take this greenery and i think i will place it here so this gives us yet another one of those small landscape tokens we need four of those in order to remove one decoration i think this can help us we have finished this greenery, so there's a path around that, you see that. And again, this is legal, which means we get yet another coin. Nice. Um, and the problem is, yeah, we have to place the peonies now next. That's this one here. Fair enough. And yeah, to be honest, right now it doesn't really matter either. So I will take this one and place it, I really don't know place it here we don't have any characters of that sort so this has to go to the opposite side of the board we will reveal a new one here and that's that of course this needs to go away again okay that's better at least we have some space now but now this now really depends on a pavilion hmm okay i think we might i think that's okay actually but let's see what we reveal here. Oh, that's a self-contained one. Nice. That's simply a point. Cool. And a pine tree. Then I really need to go for this one because I really want the spot for the pavilion, actually. This could give me another character later on. Problem is I have no clue where to place it properly. And to be honest, I want this one here next because that's the third of these small landscape tokens. And yeah, it could really help me. Don't get any points right now, but I think let's still do that. Ah, that's really, that's risk because I'm now losing this wall here. And this wall could be so important for this one here. Ah, oh, wow, that's a toughie. But yeah, I will do it anyway. I have to place the birds. I think that's the first bird we are placing. And the only legal place to place it is next to this i think was it was it the pine tree i think it was and we have gathered our third landscape tokens of the small one again it doesn't really matter i believe there is still a chance we are going for this 
officer here who simply wants to see icons on the landscape. So I think I will go for the double one and will place it here because there are now already four symbols he's seeing. So that could be potentially four points. And this one simply has to go on to the opposite side of the board. And that's pretty much it for that. Yeah, I think we have placed those birds. Let's reveal a new tile here. Hmm. Could help us, could help us. Oh, that's a bridge. Nice, nice. Anyway, still have to get rid of those fish. This goes away. This was a nice tile too, actually. And that's a rock. And I think we can place the rock somewhere. Nice. Okay, that's okay. Of course, let's see what card we get. Some more peonies, which we can't place at all. But actually, our next target, or one of our next targets, should be this one. This would be our fourth. And then we could remove one decoration anywhere from the board. So it gives us some room to, to breathe. Awesome. Oh, I really want this bridge down here because it also gives me water space. Problem is I cannot use the water space right now, but I cannot, uh, I cannot place it here. That's really unfortunate. I could, oh, I could place it here actually. Oh, you cannot see that, sorry. So in theory, I could place it like this. This would also close this greenery and would be, I think that's not bad. Yeah, let's do that. Awesome. So we will remove this one. We will place it here. Again, we have extended the greenery and we have finished the greenery, which is two coins in total. Awesome stuff. And I'm killing this tree here, apparently. And yeah, last but not least, we have to place the la No, it's not the last bridge. What am I talking about? We still have one more. We will place that bridge here. So now we really have more than enough space basis for our character if i'm not mistaken because we will also place the pavilion a little bit later let's reveal the next tile here which could be any terrain that's another wall walls are always nice to be honest and some lotus flowers nice we have a water space now of course let's check what we get here we have to discard it we have to reveal a new one that's another rock tile okay and another pavilion. Okay, Whew, interesting. Yeah, huh, that's a tricky one. Do we want to go for this pavilion now or not? Yeah, I think we do. Um, so we will place this tile, which really could be a huge risk actually. So we will place it like this. We haven't extended anything. Again, in the multiplayer game, I would now get a coin for this path, but I've collected my fourth token of the same type. So I can now trade it in and remove one decoration from the board, basically any time. And I just noticed something I have forgotten to reveal a new tile, but it doesn't really matter in this case. We still have to place the pavilion here and it doesn't really matter in which orientation I put it. It has windows in it, so the character we place in there can look into each direction. Not sure if I mentioned this, but I will if I make it to the end of this game. It's important um, to see where those characters are looking at. So this guy is looking south, so that's what he wants to see, and not up, not left or right. That's his direction. When you place him or place them, they're placed. Okay, that's nice. We have to remove this one. This was really a nice one, to be honest. Really nice. The pine tree goes away. Mm -hmm. Not sure. And that's another pavilion, and I think I cannot place it anyway. Yeah, of course, we still have to see what's here. Here's a space for a pavilion. That's nice. And a peach tree. Right now, we are looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If I counted that correctly, so eleven more combinations to go. And we have to really balance this thing out because these stacks really getting low. So we have to be really, really careful now. But I think I will keep going now. Yeah, let's do that. And I think I will go for this tile down here. I think it should fit in nicely. Yeah, let's do that. And we should be able to finish 
this greenery here though this still counts as a greenery so that's two points again one for extending and one for closing it so we are now at 26 coins in total we have unlocked our first big landscape tile now so we have the dragon and here we have something else again we are still considering going for this no the officer who wants to see as many tiles as po uh, many of those icons as possible so i think i will place this lovely really lovely looking night landscape here so that's now six symbols he's seen the dragon goes to the opposite corner of the board we will reveal a new one and here we have another dragon nice very nice then we still have the lotus flower here, which we have to place. We can easily place it there, not a problem. And by the way, we will never be able to finish this lake here um, because again, the that's uh, out of bounds pretty much, this, this row here. And it doesn't seal off, it doesn't work like a wall. So this is really a lost cause here, but I th still think that's a good idea let's reveal another combination oh that's a i think that's a rock temple here actually this could work out to be okay too actually hmm nice let's think about this and that's the card another bridge who bridge can i place a bridge now oh wow i can't <laughs> that's the first time in the game i will not be able to place a bridge how disappointing still have to discard this combo here Let's see what comes out next. It's another space for a character. Can help us and get another pavilion. Um, I think we don't have a space right now for a pavilion. No, we don't. Next, I will go for this one here and the peach tree. Yes, let's do that. We will place it accordingly. Again, this is a lost course. We still have extended it though. So that's still okay. So we are getting extra coins for extending. We will not be able to lock it though. But that's okay, I guess. Um, we still have the peach tree and the peach tree needs to go onto this space. It's also the last space for, yeah, call it nature spaces. We have to discard the pavilion. I think you can barely see that, but let's try it anyway. Speed things up a little bit. Oh, that's another space for a pavilion. And that's another, okay, birds apparently. Let's see what comes out here. Nothing, really a nothing, a big nothing with a willow, which we won't be able to place actually. Ooh, we are coming closer to either use our four tokens here or yeah, spending our last lantern tokens. I think we don't get any points for unused lantern tokens, if I am correct. Have to check that, but I think not. Let's go for this tile here. Yeah, we will bring it out there. We are not getting any points. We are not extending anything, but that's okay. We still have to place the pavilion though. And pavilion can go pretty much in here. Yep, that's okay. Now yeah, let's reveal the next set. Okay, that's another space for pavilion and another pavilion right next to it. Nice, yeah, I mean, we have still three more to go, but then let's discard this rock temple here and the bridge. We still haven't received a new bridge. No, we haven't. Okay, oh, that's the greenery temple of, uh, I don't know, nature temple, whatever it is pretty much the same thing and a lotus flower i think this combination could work out to be okay actually yeah i think it does nice and i think we should immediately go for it actually can place the lotus flower without problems we will get rid of this and then it's getting a little bit tricky to be honest but i think we are still okay so no let's do that so with our next action we will place this temple here I think we have to make some room for you to see that. We will place it here. We get a coin for the temple, just by placing the temple. We have basically placed it next to a greenery edge, the green temple, we get another coin. And we have locked down or sealed off this greenery tile here too, which is another coin. So I think we should be at exactly 30 awesome 
awesome, 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 which means we get our last character. And I think we will go with the officer. I think we prepared him accordingly. Um, the merchant goes out onto the board. Where is the merchant? I think, hmm, no, he's the merchant. And I believe we will simply, oh, we have the empress. I think, no, let's keep this space for the empress. And ooh, he wants to see that, he wants to see that. I think we place the merchant here. He will look at something again. We are not getting any minus points for that. This could be a very interesting variant that you really lose points for all the neutral characters, for example. It could be a very nice idea. Um, yeah, those were the three characters. I think we still have to place the lotus flower here, by the way. And the lotus flower has to go in like this. In theory, we would now reveal two more characters, but what's the point? We will not get any more, so we can get rid of that. We have four characters that we are allowed to place at the end of the game. Of course, we have to get there first. We still need a lot more tiles, actually. But yeah, let's reveal new tiles. This pavilion needs to go away. Here we're really running out. It's really a problem. That's another self-contained one. That's an easy point, actually. Listeria. And down here... That's nice. Having a wall now, I think this can help us. And another bridge, which we still cannot place. Yeah, I think we really wall. Yeah, I think we have a lot of those out there. No, actually, yeah, only one. But that is, we only have one more bridge left. And that's the bridge that we pretty much have discarded here. It's what it is. No, we have two out. That's fine. Um, Yeah. Let's get into the next round. Now we are in a very tough spot again. We don't have any normal placing crowns whatsoever. Not even a pavilion can be placed. Not a bridge and no nature, no water spaces. And that's what we have out right now. We have basically good mixture other than we don't have any watery <clears throat> decorations out there. But I think we either have to use our lantern token now which Nessus doesn't really help us necessarily i believe to be honest because again we will not yeah i think not i think it doesn't help us wipe them out because we don't have any spaces so first of all we need to create a new space and then we can maybe thinking of yeah getting rid of a decoration later on for example of course if i now get rid of a decoration right now could also work, but well, maybe that's also okay. But to be honest, I think I want to place use the last lantern token, and I will use it for what was it? I think I think it's this one here, where I'm allowed to take any one tile here from the garden display. So I could bring back the rock terrain, for example, or maybe even the bridge terrain, because the bridge terrain could work out pretty nicely to be honest so we could consider going for this one maybe because we could get two more points with that it's a bridge and the bridge allows us yeah i think let's do that i think that's nice so we will take this one here we will place it here that's two coins again we are extending and we are completing this water terrain very nice so we had 32 coins we get the large terrain tile, which we definitely will use to place the dragon here. So the emperor really wants to have a nice view seeing those two dragons. That's 10 points for us. Amazing. And on the other side, we have to place this one here. It's also two more symbols. So overall, we are really in good shape um, in respect to some of our characters, actually. Very, very nice. And now I think we should be okay placing this tile here. Yeah, let's do that. So we will place it next to this. Um, I keep forgetting the name of this temple. Give me one second to find it out. Um, it's the Hua Ting Flowers Temple, of course. So we get one coin because we placed a greenery edge next to the temple. We have closed this off, so that's yet another coin for that. 34 coins, amazing. We also get this um, 
a landscape token um there is really no ch no choice for us so we will place one landscape down here and i think it doesn't really matter one landscape goes up there we will reveal yet a new one and last but not least we have to place the last bridge which needs to go in here and now we still have to place five more tiles four four and one more down there that would be also our fourth big landscape tile which we could use to remove a decoration we still have to get rid of this pair up there oh this rhymes nice another space for a character and a rock and a willow so let's see what we get here we are now really out of lantern tokens that's definitely a problem and that's a magnolia oh whoa, whoa. okay that's now a tough spot but i think i want this one here first so i will go for this combination we can place it like oops not like this like this we haven't extended anything so that's sealed and gone we take the final combination of tiles i really think it doesn't matter for us anyway where we place those big landscape tiles down there so i will do that now this gives us another space for this we have to place the birds but shouldn't be a problem either we have unlocked a space down there we have to discard the willow and the tile here which works out to be okay oh that's another hmm i don't know if i like that that's a pine tree we now have two times two of those lantern or sets of lantern tokens so we can remove two decorations so i really hope we should be good but let's see what comes out here that's another nature spot i think this is okay too i think i will stick to this pile here i will place it here so this allows me to place something there we have closed off this landscape here because it's a wall so this gives us one more coin we are at 35 we also should be able to place the visteria here without any problems let's see what comes out next oh that's a nothing <laughs> not sure if i like a nothing but that's a lotus flower but to be honest i think we won't lose anymore at this point in time. at least if the tiles are okay we should be good but let's let's get ahead of ourselves apparently we still have to get rid of this combination down there that's another self-contained one that's our last decoration card so after that we re get to reshuffle and maybe something nice comes out there too and to be honest i really like this one here i really do are we running into problems in theory we could really run into problems still at least i think maybe not maybe not so much let's simply go for this tile first of all we will spend our four small landscape tokens to simply get rid of one of those decorations that will be this flower this allows us to play place this bird so let's place this nice little pond and else getting a nice impression of doctor who or thought or notion of doctor who any pond um we will place it here again this is self-contained which gives us yet another coin we have to place the birds we have just made room for those birds so those balls would fly over here then yeah let's simply discard this combination really let's speed things up a little bit it was a bit too slow i think let's still share what you see okay oh i have forgotten to shuffle i <laughs> will do that right now off camera give me one second talking 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 doesn't really matter again i will really shuffle this i have no i think it's it's already shuffled so let's do a cut that's what it is and that's another willow let's see what comes out here and actually we do have a problem we still need two spaces yeah let's really hope for something cool oh it's not cool enough okay we could really lose with the last card are you kidding me <gasps> oh man i was too cocky here oh man what am i talking about i, I still can remove one decoration without problems but man this will be so close if the wrong decoration comes out with the next card i'm toast actually because the problem is i have a space for 
here water and I also have a space for a pavilion so I think overall that's not terrible the problem is all the tiles or all the decorations that are out there demand a um, nature one a flower flower symbol which I don't have again I still have four of those tokens here that's the fourth one but that's the last one I can do oh man <laughs> that's tough and these are the two remaining spots I can play stuff oh boy are you kidding me oh I really have to think about this for a second but I think I should be good wow this was close okay First of all, again, I will spend those tokens, landscape tokens, to get rid of one decoration. That's the decoration. It's gone. I will go for this space up here, and I think I have to place it like this. I don't get any points for that, but I can place the willow. And the willow goes, doesn't really matter. It will go in like this. We will reveal the opposite side of the corner. Maybe I should still do that. Let's let's do it. Maybe maybe we get get even better one. So we will place this. We will reveal yet a new tar. That's another pine tree, and we can also place. I think we can even optimize the turn. Oh yeah, I think it turned out better than I thought it to be. We still have to get rid of this one down there. This gets discarded. Let's see what the new is. We are still okay here. We have some peonies. And to be honest, the best we can do is to place this one up here. We still have one more here, so we, are not, we have not lost the game. We have simply extended this. It's fully legal. We can even place the pine tree. doesn't really matter where it goes. Let's place it like this. Again, we have extended it. This gives us yet another point for that. And yeah, that's the end of the game. Last but not least, we have to place our characters. And again, I have to do some thinking. This guy here, the hermit, that's clear. He, we wanted to place him here because he, needs, he's, he will see all those rock tiles down there. That's perfect. The emperor, um, he wants to see the dragon. So we will place the emperor here. So he will also score us 10 points. Again, he will see those things here. The empress, he, she doesn't want to see anyone. She wants to be left alone. And I think that's the perfect place for here down there. So she looks at toward this nice little view, whatever it is. And last but not least, we have the officer. He wants to see as many icons as possible. So we will place him like this. So he will look at those. And that's eight points, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's do the math again. The empress is easy. She gets nine points. If she doesn't see the lady or the emperor, she will not lose any points. So we will simply go with a 10. We will give one coin back, I promise. So we have scored here. In theory, I really should have placed, um, there are these nice little, where are those rings actually? They're nice colored rings, which you can put on the bottom of the, uh, here they are, to basically identify, hey, this belongs to me, for example. But I will place the cube next to that. Um, we don't score this one, we don't score this one, but we will score this officer again. He wants to see symbols. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight eight symbols nice so we get yet another 10 and of course again i will promise to give two back so we have also scored our officer here next we will score our emperor here's a dragon there is a dragon that's 10 points we don't have to give anything back that's five points per dragon he sees i think yeah that's the maximum that you can see well that's 10 points for him and last but not least we have our hermit he sees one two three four five rock tiles he gets we really count the, the tile that he's standing on that's five times two that's yet another 10 points let's tally up our score and overall we have scored 70 points in total that's not terrible to be honest i was certain i'm going to lose what does this mean 74 points or coins in this case? It actually means we are two points short making it to the engineer space. So we are yellow. That's okay. We are a designer. We have not lost the game and we made it into the yellow stage. But I can really see now 
how challenging this can be to make it to 96. Of course, it's really hugely dependent on what characters come up, what tiles come up, in which order, and the um, decoration cards. Apparently, I have made some poor decisions during my playthrough, but overall, man, really, really a tight experience. Really enjoyable, actually. And I think you really want to see what's going on here in this nice little garden. I mean, this is just a beauty. And again, remember, in a three or four player game, you will definitely see way more tiles. So the board will be most likely full of those and would really, really be a very, very enjoyable site. It looks nice as it is right now. I can only imagine how gorgeous those miniature could look like if I could really paint properly. And I have seen some actual photos on the geek really and on Instagram really, really looking nice. And yeah, that's basically the end of my playthrough of Tang Garden using the official solo rules. Again, very nice to look at a very clever game too. So it's not just optics. It's also there's a good game behind it. That's definitely something. There are two um, extra boxes that came with the Kickstarter. One is Black Stories. Um, was it Black Stories? I don't know. Yeah, you, you don't know what, I, what, I, what I'm talking about. It makes the game a little bit darker, adds some more stuff. There's also a huge box of extra tiles. I think I didn't even use those. I think I, I have um, a nice little starting player token. I have wooden tokens for, for those. I'm not even using that, to be honest, because I just unwrapped the base box pretty much. I played it a couple of times with my family. We really enjoyed it. and. I think, yeah, it's, it's really, really gorgeous to look at and a very, very clever little game. Apart from that, a huge shout out again to all of my patrons. Thanks so much for your support. Um, huge shout out to everyone too. Really stay safe, stay healthy, take good care of your family and your friends. Um, let's really make the best out of this. Play games um, and yeah, stay healthy, stay safe and hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. And until then, bye bye.